hello and welcome in this video we are going to learn how to build integration and expose it over soap over https protocol as well as we will learn how to consume soap based web service so let's begin so before starting just google learn web services and go to this link learn web services okay. here there is a sample visitor available which we can call from any soap tool like soap ui this doesn't require any credentials this web service is basically accept a name and send back the greetings okay like as you see hello dinam so what we are going to do is we are going to invoke this web service from our integration in order to expose our integration over soap protocol i have created this simple visitor which will take the title name second first name second name and in response we will get the greeting in request we have three parameters and in response we have greetings and these are some flex attributes switch over to oracle integration cloud click on create search for soap in the drop down select trigger as we are creating this connection for trigger purpose i'm giving name as trigger click on create here you have to load the visitor file which we have created click on upload and select the file click on upload once done test the connection click on test 100% click on save and exit next we have to create a connection to invoke this visitor so click on create search for soap give the name greeting so here we have to select invoke if we select trigger and invoke then the same visitor could be used to expose our integration over uh, SOAP protocol as well as we can invoke that visitor as we have uh, as we are creating a different uh, visitor for exposing our integration over SOAP protocol and uh, we are invoking a different visitor I am selecting this invoke now click on create now it is asking for visitor another way to give the visitor is by giving the URL copy this URL paste it over here click on save click on test it is asking for credential as this service is not having credential click on no security policy click on save click on test done we are done with our connections we have built a trigger conne connection as well as invoke connection now switch over to integrations click on create select tab driven click select give some meaningful name if you have a package then give the package details and click on create now we have to click on this plus symbol and select the trigger connection which we have created Select this trigger learning soap. Give some name. Click on next. Click on next. Click on next. As we are having a header in request and response, it is showing the details like soap headers. If your visitor is not having the headers in the visitor, then it will only show the option. Click on next and then click on save. Now what we have to do is in between this uh, trigger connection and the mapper which we are sending back as a response to the service caller, we are calling our invoke connection select this greeting learning so calling learn 
web service click on next click on next and done click on save click on this mapper which is in between triggered soap and uh, invocation of learn web service click on this edit expand the body say hello name now expand our request request title what we are going to do is we are concatenating first name second name and the title over here and passing to the service concat space title concat first name space second name once done click on validate validate close next thing what we have to do is we have to assign the response from the learn web service to a integration response message click on this mapper expand the body we have to expand this response calling web service response element and click map message to greetings click on close this error it is showing because we have not set the business identifier it now go to trackings expand our body expand load more and assign the first name as our tracking even we can have three trackers wherein we can uh, put like first name as a first business identifier second uh, second name as a second tracking variable and title as a third variable okay this is will this might vary as per the business requirement as you can see we are no more getting this error notification click on save and close activate this integration enable the tracing click on this play button you will get a visitor to run this soap service copy the endpoint visitor url by hitting the url in a soap ui tool or any tool you can get the greetings back like how we have done for this learn web service thank you for watching this video please do like comment and subscribe the channel